And welcome ladies and gentlemen. We'll be shortly uh, talking about our app here. So once again, we are waiting for the final go ahead from our development team. And where go? All right. Well, once again, I want to thank you very much for allowing us to be here today and to show you our app. It is the one-stop solution for $10 for any startup that is just getting started here in 23 and 24. The new year is upon us. And we are excited to say that it looks bright. We spent the last four months developing it in the latest technologies. And of course with the latest security features. So now let's go ahead and get started. So you logged on to this app. And for 10 bucks you're saying, hey, now this is a deal. But what's all, all that comes inclusive? <laughs> well, if you go up here to purchase, you'd be able to see what it all entails. You get a business scheduler, an employee scheduler, SMS marketing, an e-commerce suite, an auction suite, QR codes, article postings, newsletters, permission package, timesheet, directory, job postings, and of course reviews. But once again, we're quite unsure what all that means and we want to know what it looks like. Well, great. Let's go ahead and click on the test app. And you'll notice up at the very top that the subdomain has changed to our test.bizbase.app site. So as, the, as we move forward, we'll notice that a username and password have been pre-filled. Well, since you don't have a username and password yet, you don't know about one, why don't we just log on? You notice up at the top a dashboard sign came up saying that this might be, this is your back end. And of course, we're interested in for you to, you know, do what you need to do. So these are different images that the AI has developed for us and we'd like to know your thoughts about it. So there's two sides of this app before we get started. There's the back end and the front end. So I'll, be re I'll refer to the front end which includes your guests, your customers, and people who are looking more about your company to find out what, you, what you're doing. And then, of course, the back end is for your employees and you to, to change any information that you wish to ha change for your business. So let's go ahead and log on and click on the dashboard. As you see here, this is a basic, you know, dashboard that has just been set up. Up at the very top, you've got our company name. And over to the right, we have the light and dark mode. Let's see, which way is better? Ah, I think this way is better for the, uh, for the presentation. A little bit clearer. So we're going to keep this in dark mode for the rest of the evening. Then we can click on the bell. And you see three three items up here. Messages is for the uh, messages that your guests or your customers have emailed you with on the site to find out what's going on with your company. The ticket system is the tickets that, that you provide me and I respond back to you about new ideas or any other issues that might have occurred as you're developing your, your system. And of course, sales. How many sales have you 
have you uh, experienced and I'll show you more about that later on then of course we have the your profile and of course you can log out so let's start with the profile if we click on it we notice that TU stands for test user well we can actually change the domain name or change your image and let's do the American Legion sign. I'm part of the American Legion, post 200. So I give a shout out to all those guys. So then we have the name, test users, my employment title. I happen to be the founder of the company and also developer. And my email address and click save. I can go ahead and change my password if, if need be and also enable two-factor authentication and of course when you notice down your browser session you have multiple browsers open you probably want to go ahead and enable browser session and log out all the current browser sessions so as we scroll back up we're going to go ahead and click on dashboard again So the uh, employees, there are six different areas. Employees, total clients, not confirmed, scheduled, and total messages and total tickets. Employees are how many employees you've actually put on the uh, in the company. You can add as many employees as you, you want and there's no limitation. And of course we got the total clients. I mean clients have actually purchased your items through through the front end site. Not confirmed. These are not confirmed employee schedulers that your employees have not confirmed whether or not they would like to work with you or not. Scheduled are the amount of schedules that your businesses have scheduled to to show your customers and your guests where you're going to be at. Total messages are the total messages that your customers and guests have emailed you with finding out what's going on with your business or if there's any you know, issues that may arise. And total, total tickets is the amount of total tickets that you have told me about of an issue or a great idea that would help your company out while you're using our system. You can go ahead and click on each one of these and we'd be able to and it goes directly to the areas that you want to be. As, as you see here the total tickets system has has shown up and you can go ahead and contact us, send the message and your message will, will pop up here finding out you know what the resolution is and not you have any dire ticket needs well go ahead and give me a holler and I'll I should be able to take care of you in any time or fashion just remember that since I am a human being I only have working hours of 9 to 4 central standard time but if you need a beer that's very important to a lot of a lot of our guests. Uh, here's the number for you to rise for the uh, gentleman who gave us the uh, this great idea, and he'd be very welcomed in, and you order in a keg or two. But let's go back to the dashboard. So here you have the activity logs. This is everything that you've done on the system that you have done from changing you know information to adding posts to you know any basically anything it keeps a log of what you're doing and to keep you you know you know give you a heads up of anything that you might have accidentally changed well this will be a solution for you in the middle you have company info 
Company info is all your information that your company needs to have. So if we can go ahead and just click on it. Company profile, we're either a food truck or server company or your vendor company. Someone to host your the food trucks or, or servers. Then we have your company name, your logo if you wish to uh, to add it. Let's go ahead and add you know post two hundred. Eh, slogan. What's what's my company slogan of test users? Our test company is. Let's try testing users patients. That's always a good thing to say. What's your what's your company website? Well, we can either keep it here at test.bizapp. Or, or if you have a company domain, you can always add it to. Type in your your company email, and then then we have your company phone number. And what what areas do you service? Well, I happen to service the 77441 area, 77450 area, and a lot more different areas all the United States. But this is this is prevalent for me to find out what's going on. The billing credit card address is is for the uh, monthly the monthly billing. So you put your card name, your card number, your date, and the CVC number, and PayPal will use this information under, you know, on encryption, take the number, and then run it through system once a month. So this is important. This is how all the all of our bills gets paid and and everything in that general area. Then you want to put your information, your company information. So you happen to be on one, two, three, Maine. Well, you could put in your city, your state, your country, but we've added something else that you might enjoy. Is all you put in the zip code, and then everything else is populated. But my billing address has changed to 321 Main Street. But that's in the Katy area. Oh, there you go. Then, of course, we had all, we're always trying to help you out because you have pictures, you have marketers, you have you know other information on different social media sites that you can place here and it would show up. So if you go to HTTPS slash uh, Facebook.com slash me, we'll show you what that looks like. And of course, put in your company vision and your, your company about us. Any information like that? And if you need help, you can always use ChatGPT. Some of our Beta testers have done very successful in, in writing elaborate information to help their customers out understand what they do. Then we have personal information. Once again, this happens to be very, very informative to find out more about you. In today's business world, we realize that people just don't do business because of business. They do business because of personality, people, understanding, caring for what other people have to say, do, or need. So it's always good to change your, you know, time zone. I happen to be in the Central Standard Time of, well, not, uh, not Denver, Chicago. There we go. And uh, I'm also an employee. I might be a founder, but this 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 will tell me, you know, if I'm active or not. All right. Then I can put in all my information: my birth date, my gender, my my phone number, 
and of course my address so in all my personal social media accounts so say I'm a writer and I'd like to get more exposure by using your company since you've hired me and it and you're okay with it then we I can go ahead and do that but of course as the admin you're you're always you always have control over what your users put so let's go ahead and click on update and now let's get to the nitty-gritty so here if you click on business you're gonna hit profile this happens to be your profile of your company that uh, that is that'll tell people what you do who you are you know what you're all about so this is you this is not sorry this is not your company this is you so once again being the personal information you know let's put all about me and of course my interests are the yeah, interests are great go ahead and click update you'll be when customers want to find out more who I am and who you are they'll be able to see it and this is what it'll look like so minus the activities log of your personal what you're doing personally everything else will be the same so of your team members so once again this is your team represents your company that represents you in business very productive in life all right let's go ahead and click store store happens to be a a, a site to where where companies will can find about your mission your store mission your you know what the company vision is all about and of course on the back end side you'll be able to see a logo a banner and of course going with the about us a QR code which if you're the type of company that like to print out QR codes then this is the site for you because you can go ahead and download this QR code and when people take a snapshot it'll log on to your business on this site and of course the product of total revenue new orders new connections well once again this is admin side so this won't be shown on the public side same thing with the activity logs so while you're in the thought of what this might look like you can always go to settings and click on view profile you'll notice that under the test app vendors slash test company this is this will be the public side of, of yours of what's going on and as far as the activity logs go we'll get to that a little bit farther down the line of you know what you're scheduling so say you'll be in the George R Brown Center or at the White House doing a public speaking this information would be nice to know and of course if customers would like to go ahead and sign up for your your company well they can get, they can add their email address here subscribe to it and you'll see that on the front end so let's go ahead and click back for a second and click on schedules so schedules is a is a area which is was developed to tell your guests who don't have Facebook, who don't have LinkedIn, who don't have social media, where you're gonna be at, you know, th throughout the time. So whether or not you're a public speaker, or a craft show, or another small business that that works in, you know, at different venues, then this is the this is the place for you. 
or if you happen to just say, "Hey, listen, I'm I'm down at down on the the side street of of a craft event that's going on. I'll be you know, third row in from eight to five. Well, it's also a good place out there. Also, businesses near you. When this shows up and when when businesses have logged in that service your area, you'll be able to see them and you'll be able to schedule meetings with them anytime you wish. So, so let's go ahead on, let's say I have a meeting tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and click on the 22nd. I'm going to say, you know, I'll be down at the George R. Brown. Center on the 22nd from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Boost, you know, 219. Click on save. You'll notice that it's green. That means it's confirmed because you you did it. So there's there's two things with that. If if you have clicked on the user that's over here on the side, and then created the schedule, it'll be white. That's because it's not confirmed yet with the opposed, with the opposite party. Now, once the user on the opposite party confirms it, then it'll change to green and you'll be fine and ready to go. But the user on the other end could delete it and you'll receive a text, a text messages or an email saying that either I've accepted the information or not. Here you've, since you've created this, you won't receive a text because you know about it and there's no other party to to get in touch with. Well, let's say for instance, I made a mistake, not the 22nd, but the 28th. I can go ahead and drag and drop it. And of course, now my, my schedule is on the 28th. I'll be at the George R. Brown Center from 8, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., booth 239. Now let's go on to schedules, or employee schedules. Once again, very important. Employees are a good thing. They help you out with the mundane tasks that you don't want to do. Or they have a skill that you don't have that can help you succeed in, in your business. One of those is, is very important. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and add a user. So let's let's uh, create a guy named Charles Wilson. He's let's say he's a dancer, and he's going and he's in the uh, Chicago area. And so Charles Wilson's email address is Charles Wilson at email, you know, dot com. Well, we don't know what his his day is. We're not quite sure about with this new way, and of course, we'll let him fill out the rest of the information. Well, he'll receive an email saying that, "Hey, you've you've been added to our site. Just go ahead and you know log in with your email address and change your username and password." And of course, we also want to say he's an employee. Very important. Without it, you'll notice over here, it goes up and down. If he's not an employee, you won't see him on the list. But if he is an employee, then you'll see him on the list. Go ahead and click on update. There's Charles. So, now, now we want to add him to what's going on. Let's see. There's a dance combo 
Oh, whatever. You know. Just do a fight off. On. On dance. I don't know. Go ahead and click save. You'll notice that, that it's white. Charles Wilson will has received an email and it either confirms the state and it turns green or he can delete it. But let's just say you've hired a, a consultant named James you know, Henderson. Uh, you know, he's is the employee. Well, you can say that, but that's all right. And of course, He's not a let's let's try this again. Uh let's say he's programming for you. Programming from three PM to five PM. Go ahead and click save. And of course, James has been confirmed. Um, now let's head on over. Well, just like anything, Charles Wilson says, I can't do it the 21st, but I can do it the 27th. Oh, that's fine. And James, he'll be in tomorrow to the program for you. All right. Let's go to timesheets. As an employee, you're able to add timesheets to keep keep up what's going on. If we go back to the dashboard, you notice that there's a timestamp up here. The timestamp is for employees to go ahead that are working off site for you and they're going to start they're going to start working. And of course when they get off of work they can turn it off. And when you go to the timesheet you'll be able to see who it was you know that's working for you. You know, when, the start date, the end date, how many, how many hours he worked for you. In this case, it was only 10 seconds. Of course, I'm charging this guy 100 bucks an hour, a second, so I made out. And of course, when I was, when it created. And then if, if I ever need, as a user, the admin of the site, I can go ahead and you know, say, you know, from a programmer's point of view, he added colon to a you know, JavaScript line. Hey, you know how many hours I've spent? If you're a programmer, that, that's a big deal. But let's go ahead and click on update. And I'm able to, you know, see what's going on. Once again, my information's there. So, let's click on directory. These are all the active and inactive people you've created for your business. So, so if we can click on Charles Wilson Charles Wilson gets fired well you'll still be able to grab his his information if you need to rehire him click on here he's rehired and of course close the information Click on job posting. 
This is always a fun site. So let's say I need an accountant because my company is starting to grow. I can go ahead and click on accountant. Information's already been pre-filled, which is nice because when it comes to accountants, it's always good to see what they have and and the, especially with your relative field. I mean, do you want account, an accountant that specializes in and $100 million companies? Or do you want a, an accountant that specializes in, in $200,000 companies? There's a huge difference in both of those ways and how you would need to effectively work in the accounting department. A lot more rules and regulations than you believe. So let's say everything is looks good. Status is active. We can close the status just in case we realize that we don't need an accountant. But then again, we do need an accountant. And the position has not been filled yet. We can cloak. But if we do find the accountant while we're sitting somewhere and the accountant just shows up, say, hey, I'm the perfect girl for you or guy for you. Well, then we can go ahead and, and change it right there and then. At the moment in time, we still need an accountant. So let's go ahead and close this session and go into the post. The post section, everyone loves the post section. It's how you write your articles and get and tell people what your company is all about, all the different ideas you have, all the products you have, all the features that you're gonna provide for them, any ideas that might be helpful in, uh, in their daily DIY stuff. This is everything that you're ever going to need. So, so there's categories, there's tags for you to help you with your, your business. But as far as just your plain article, I have, I have a great article. I'm going to put a wonderful picture of it on there. And of course, I'm going to write a description of this great article, article quote, and article summary. So I don't have any tags or, or category right now. I'm just going to leave this blank and go ahead and click save. For time consume, consuming the information, um, I'm gonna skip the next three because they're pretty much self-explanatory. You can add a category to help subdivide your your information and in all the articles that you're writing, and also tags. And once again, very basic, very simple. And of course, the comments. You know, choose an article. Let's choose a great article. You know, we can actually write our own reviews. Great writings. And as far as description, wonderful description. Click save. Make sure everyone, you know, knows about what, what we're writing. And of course, we close this up and go to shops. Shops is the money maker of what's going on. Shops is the it's pretty much the uh, the entity of what pretty much everything that you're going to need in your business when you sell your products, your service, or, or your auction site. So on the back end, you'll be able to see all your unique customers that have purchased stuff from you that, that you would enjoy. All right. Now, as we move on, we'll be able to see the reviews of your product of what people are writing and how, what type of issues that might occur 
that you need to solve or or take care of. Here we got your orders. Once again, we can create orders on the back end to help you out with with all your with all your needs, your carts, your lots. What's a lot? A lot is an, an auction. It's it's like the finished cart from an auction site. You got your newsletters, which I'll be referring back to here shortly. But first, certain things must be filled out in order to get the rest of this working. Once again, SMS messaging. So this is only able to be pre-filled when your customers have chosen that they want to be messaged through their through their phones. All right, and I'll and I'll show you here that you know momentarily. Go to settings. This is your information. It's just like your profile. Has all your your name, your username, your passwords, your tooth, your fact authentication. I highly recommend that you know, as a business owner, that you turn this on. Because hackers are every are always trying to break into the site. And there's really no way of stopping that. Your permissions. So let's say Charles, who's who's a dancer, has two jobs. He has he has creating tags for the post, and he has writing posts. Hmm. Well, how do you give him those two permissions? Click on tags and then click on post. This is the only two things you'll ever see in your in your business. How do I know that? Well, you can actually start unclicking what you have. So let's, let's look at timesheets. Timesheets? Let's say you're a business and you have like three things that you would like to just C. Time, time sheets not one of them. Don't care about article carts. Oh, I'm gonna keep my profile, keep the store. But everything else, really don't, really don't care for. Well, I do care for e-commerce brands and auction brands. Everything else, nah, don't have an interest. Now I want interest. But as an owner of the business, you will never be able to get rid of roles. Right? Because this is the role and permission page. So don't worry about it. Even if you accidentally uncheck it, our, our dominions in the back have got you covered. And then we can go ahead and, and move on to, let's say, brands. And of course, we can add a brand. Not, but that's just for the sake of what we offer. That's what really stands us out as far as keeping you know, you up to date of what your company can, your users can see, your cus your employees can see, and what they can't see. So. Let's go ahead and go to, oh. Oh, interesting glitch there. I'll be I'll be dealing with that myself. All right, so permissions is now taken care of. We can click on payment. This right here, I really wouldn't want anyone else to see. So you can always go back here on permissions. 
And make sure that all your other employees have this PayPal checked off. As you can see on the far left, that PayPal was disappeared and now it's reappeared. So what is this? This is this is the way you get paid. This is a way for your orders, your carts, your lots. This is for everything else to work is when you had this API. Why did I choose to do it like this? Because I don't want to deal with your money. I have no interest in dealing with your money. There have been times where customers would uh, call the company, say, I just bought this, I want a refund, you know, and of course you don't know whether or not this is true or not. So next time a scam artist, because they're starting to get more, more prevalent, saying that, hey, I just bought something, I want you to refund my money now. Well, you can then immediately go to PayPal and find out whether or not he's he's a lying ass or not. So let's go ahead and, and how do you get a PayPal API key? What does all that entail? Well, if you follow these steps, this is the guide that'll help you to get your business into PayPal to become a developer and then get your API credentials. So I tried to do as basic as I could, but it's very easy and it's currently up to date on the way PayPal is asking for new businesses to, to be a PayPal developer. And then of course, to get your API key and secret key, which then you would place up here. Click save and you're up and ready to go. E-commerce site. So the banner, media banner is, is a uh, important for a visual effects of what your business is all about. As you go up back here to the store, you so you notice that this beautiful sunrise or sun setting over the ocean. You know, nice favorite colors, but it has nothing to do with your business. Go back to the media banner. Go here saying okay. Random banner is the name of my banner. The banner that I'm choosing is, let's say this, this, this one of an old great dean. Let's put, as far as description, great dean vintage shop. That's going to be at the store. There's three areas you can put in, it into. Store, the profile, the blog. We're going to keep them in the store. Well, then if we go back up to the store, we can tell whether or not we need to update the picture or not. So later on, we'll be putting more information out there to help you to give you the correct size of what, what you would need. But this currently isn't it. But I gotta admit, it looks, it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go to e-commerce types. Once again, it's pretty much self-explanatory. These are the different types that you're gonna you're gonna add for your your product product being uh, category top solo dog 
I don't know why you would do that, but there we go. Let's do Solo Dog. That's a good product type. And of course, do information of Solo Dog. Click save. What type of brand is Solo Dog? You might ask. He's, it's a great brand. Sounds good. And of course, as the admin side, you'd be able to know who, who added what, when. All right. Product. Let's let's give a product of. A great image. Every Great Dane deserves a great image. There's a great image of a Great Dane. So let's do just for time. I've got a great image, a summary of a great image. I got a description. great image got solo dog and I'm saying this is, this thing is $67 but I'm gonna discount it to $66 brand I, I gave it the, the great brand and quality I only have eight of them so they're gonna be going fast Click on save. Let's say, for instance, I've got a coupon. Click on the coupon, and I want to say that this great coupon that someone puts in great, that they'll they'll take, you know, it'll knock the price down to $44. Click on save. And of course shipping. Shipping's very important. We gotta find out, you know, how we're gonna get the stuff to it. So here for you, we're we're gonna have we're gonna have two types. We're gonna either have pickup, and of course that's zero. If they come pick it up. And of course we have Pigeon. Some people enjoy the United States Postal Service. Other people do UPS. We're doing pigeons, but these pigeons have gone on strike and they want, they demanded you know, higher wages. So unfortunately we're, uh, it's gonna, we're gonna have to attack on another 30 bucks. If you just, if you decide to go with Pigeon. Click on save. There we go. And what about our auction? You're probably thinking, hey, I don't have an auction. Or I'm thinking, you know what? An auction is a great way to make money in, in the event that I buy a house and I have a lot of junk to sell and I have actually no idea what it's worth, so I'm just gonna give it to the person with the highest bid. It's also a great way for fundraisers any other type of charity work that you might have in today's review. Same thing with the auction, you got types, brands, product, and of course, shipping. 90% of people in the auction industry require you to pick it up. Why is that? Do you have any idea how heavy some of these 1940 solid oak chess pieces are? Shipping that would be incredibly insane. I'm just saying. All right. Now let's go to your store. 
Well, there's two ways of getting to the store. We can either scan the QR code, which will take us to the store, or you can go to your view profile, and this will take us to your store. So the QR code will give you, will send your people here, and of course, they'll eventually notice exactly where, to, where you are and what your name is, the owner's name is, so you, which if you happen to click on the test user, that's us with along with our employee members. And of course, you know, their information. Click on company again. And of course, once again, your, co your company can immediately call you up, say, hey, this is a great, I love your company. I want to try to sell you something else. Email for your customers getting a hold of you. Or if they would like to sign up for the news, your newsletter, you can go down here, click on it. And of course, then they would, then you'd be able to see exactly, you know, they'd be able to receive more information about what's going on with your newsletter or your company that you send through your newsletter. From a login version, you have this, you have the profile, once again, this is what your, your guests would see, especially for the people who are bidding on the auction site. This is very important for the auction site to work on their behalf, is to make sure that, the, uh, that their credit card information's in, so once the auction ends, it gets submitted, PayPal charges them, and then of course you get paid, and you can then immediately send it off to your customers or you can tell them when to pick it up. Now, as far as, you know, also this is important, find out where they live, what's their building address, um, and their social media profile. Let's say we like this, we're gonna add the favorite. Well, that's a, that's a very important ordeal. We just added you the favorite. What is that in tech? Well, we, we know that we can either turn on your newsletter and turn on any SMS alerts like, hey, the, the barbecue food truck's gonna be out here at five o'clock, you know, come and get some. Pretty simple. Shopping list, auctions interest, these are all favorite that uh, that you would receive also. Now let's start from from the right to the left. Log out, very basic, simple. You'd be able to see exactly what what your user, you know, if your user wants to log out or not. Message, I want a message. That there's an issue. So there is an issue. Of what? Don't know. Right, let's go ahead and send message. Ah, phone required. This is something that we do require to say, hey, listen, we've got we like to you know keep up with you, so if we can call you, that's a good thing. This is your phone number out here. And of course, if any of your customers just need a, a need a beer, they uh, that is there because of the gentleman who, who gave me the idea. I'm just paying it forward. Go ahead and send, send the issue and it's now sent to you. And we'll notice that we go back to the company site and you know this is, there's a message for you jobs we have an accountant 
this is what he needs your information is right here on the, on the left so they can either email you saying hey listen I'm the perfect accountant for you or they can call you up with more information and of course they also have this idea of what's going on with your company if they choose to keep an update of what's going on calendar so we find out that on the 28th you're gonna be at the George R Brown Convention Center at 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at booth 239 that's awesome I'm gonna make a note of that and keep you up keep myself up to date of what's going on with your company settings once again user has the same information and the reset features that that you do so they can change their password they can add to to authentic authentication and of course see everyone who's where they're logged on throughout throughout the world so that's very important especially in today's man in the middle attacks click on view favorites I can find out you know what companies I have liked throughout on this site and of course keep up to date with them finding out what's more what's going on with them you know since I've already added them well I don't get added a second time so that's a good thing a profile information once again it's very self-explanatory I, I need to find out you know the phone number of my customer put in my building information my address my billing address and of course my social media accounts so just in case the customer would like to get or the business would like to get more in depth on on who you are they can follow you so if you buy 300 widgets and that's that's a big deal and some companies actually give you a discount when they start following it's like hey these widgets that you're building to make this exciting thing you know we can help you with that it's always good to share some information about you and of course we got your blogs so this great article I've written so once again describe what's going on with the American Legion post 200 of the great article that I've written and of course hopefully get customers excited then of course I can hit on store so this base I've got a featured product that is that is the perfect gift for you for ninety dollars $90. or what I can do is it's like you know what I like I like that great image you know even better let's take a look at it try to find out more information on it well you know it's going for 66 bucks well, let's go ahead and order it a ah, shopping cart over here huh oh there it is I can either add four images or eh, let's keep it down just to two I, I just want two now let's go ahead and you know, order now click on cart notice that I added two but I added another one to the cart so it gives me a total of three but you know what I just really want to at 66 bucks it's not bad I can either it's like nah I'm not interested in it or it's like you know I found a really cool coupon if I type in great I'll notice that the $132 should should I uh, go down well it turns out that they're gonna be $44 each and I have two of them I think that's a great deal 
And no, I can't pick it up, so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, ask to get delivered by pigeons. And of course, hit check out. Now here, this is where we stop our our session because I don't I didn't put the PayPal API key in for the test and uh, but it it's working. But after after we've completed our check in, we know that it's it's all about your connecting with your users in today's vital age. Also, another big issue is why aren't we charging a lot more? Well, technically, the company is me. Me and two Great Danes. So I'm not paying for high-priced developers to come in to, to develop all this. It's just me. And me is what I... And by charging you 10 bucks, I think this is a great deal for you and for me to keep developing and, and have fun with it. But as we about to but as, as we're about to close, we'll go ahead and let me click on back here. Notice we go you know back to the different areas. We've made one new connection, which is a good thing. And of course, on our favorites, we know that we, uh, that we have it in our favorites because we didn't check out yet. And we can go ahead and click on the shopping cart. And you'll, you can go back to the cart and we're here. So the only thing you got to do is find out the great coupon. And once again, you won't see this if, if you don't have anything there. So the coupons brought it down. We have three items, $154. You, you get to take care of the taxes. That has not been implemented yet. We know that. We've been told about it. So, uh, but like I said, for 10 bucks, we want your idea of what would help you out to entrust that we're the company for you to help you get your business off the ground. So once again, thank you very much for joining us. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. And I look forward in, in hearing from you. So you have a, a great day. If you meet a great dame, give him a big hug and kiss. So, from Guinness, I, and Emma, which are our other two great dames, we want to say thank you, Merry Christmas, and you have an excellent starting year. Alright, bye-bye.